Hello everyone welcome to unlock maths today we are going to solve such type of differential equations yes we can check that all these are linear differential equations of higher order with constant coefficients and we know that we can find its solution by this y is equals to c a plus p i yes in last lecture we have seen how to find c a now in this lecture we will see how to find the pi yes here we can check that rhs of all this differential equation is of this types yes x is equals to e raised to x yes this is exponential here we can also check that we can reduce this hyperbolic sign and cos in this form so we have to discuss here how to find the particular integral for such type of function so yes let's proceed for finding the particular integral when x is equals to e raised to ax so yes here we have differential equation general form of differential equation in this form yes where this f of d is here what this is function of d yes and what is x x is here we have this e raised to ax so we have formula for pi this is 1 upon f of d into x yes now we have to find the pi when this x is equals to e raised to ax so we will put here yes next how to solve this one here yes this is f of d this is a function of d yes we can write this is as a f of a yes what is what we have done here we have this is f of d this is function of d and when we put here this d is equals to a we will get this is f of a yes and condition is that here this f of a is not equals to 0 yes this f of a this denominator should not be 0 here so this is the pi right and when this denominator get zero what we have to do yes then what is pi what we have to do here we have to multiply this is by x and we have to take the derivative of this f of d so derivative is f dash of d and next we have to put this d is equals to a so that we will get this is f dash of a so here we have to write this f dash of a and condition is that this denominator should not be zero yes and again if this denominator get zero yes what we have to do what is the pi then again we have to multiply this is by x so we will have here x square and here we have to take double derivative of f dash of d yes and we have to put d is equals to a so that we will get f to dash of a yes in this way we have to proceed yes and again here condition is that this denominator should not be zero again if this get zero yes what will be pi then yes and we have to proceed until we will not get finite this pi yes so this is the pi when x is equals to e raised to ax yes what we have to do we have to find pi in this way yes we have to replace this d by a a is here coefficient of this x yes and we have to check this denominator should not be zero if this denominator get zero we have to multiply this is by x and in denominator we will have this is f dash of a yes and this is e raised to ax as it is and so on yes we have to proceed
in this way for finding pi yes this rule will get clear by one example here so let's have a look on one example yes now here we have to find the pi for this differential equation so what is pi yes we have this formula and what is f of d f of d is here and x is equals to raised to 2x so yes how to find pi yes what we have to do we have to put here this is our f of d yes we have to put d is equals to a here so that we will get f of a yes now we can check that for d is equals to 2 this equation is not get zero so that means we have to put d is equals to 2 here yes this is the pi for this given differential equation yes we have solved we got this is here finite denominator yes this so this is the required pi yes now we have to solve this example that means its solution is given by yes this is y is equals to cf plus pi yes for cf what we need we need the roots of this auxiliary equation so here auxiliary equation is this what yes this is auxiliary equation and we can check that this is the square of this one so we have this is d is equals to 3 and 3 these are the roots yes how the roots are here roots are real and equal so in that case what is cf yes this is the cf now we have to find the pi what is pi yes this one we have to put f of d f of d is here d square minus 60 plus 9 yes we have put f of d and this x here x is here yes this is 6 0 to 3 x okay yes here we can check that we have to operate this f of d on this x right now we can check that here this f of d is get 0 when this d is equals to 3 and here by this case we have to put d is equals to 3 here yes that means that denominator gets 0 so what we have to do in this case we have to multiply this is by x and we have to take the derivative of this one so what is the derivative this is derivative with respect to d so this will here twice d minus 6 and this 9 derivative 0 this is e raised to thrice x as it is so next what is here simplification yes again we can check that we have to put d is equals to 3 here that means again this denominator gets 0 so again we have to multiply this is by x and we have to take the derivative of this one so derivative now this is so we have here yes so what is the simplification of this one yes this is the pi right we have to remember that this f of d is get zero only when d is the roots of this equation yes yes f of d get zero yes here we can check that this f of d is get zero only when we put here d is equals to three so yes so first we have find the roots and we got idea that f of d get zero so in that case we have to multiply this is by x and we have to take the derivative of this f of d so that we got this one again we have checked that here when we put d is equals to three again this denominator get zero yes and we have taken this is multiplication this is by x and we have taken the derivative with respect to d so on simplification we got this pi yes so we can write this is y is equals to cf plus pi we can put this here and so that we will get the solution of this given differential equation now before moving forward let's note down some useful points here yes we have seen x is equals to e raised to ax this case where this a is here constant that may be positive or negative constant now when this x is equals to 
k that means if we have any constant yes in that case what is the pi yes what we have to do we have to write x is equals to k as a this is k into e raised to 0 x yes so that means we have reduced this k in the form of exponential right then we can solve this particular integral by putting this d is equals to 0 yes next x is equals to this a raised to x so yes again we have to reduce this in this form now we know that we can write this a raised to x as a yes so on simplification we will have yes by log rule we will have this one that means yes right so again this is of this form we have reduced yes in this in exponential form that means when we have to find this particular integral we have to replace this d by this log of a yes and next point is that when x is here hyperbolic sign yes or this hyperbolic cos yes we know that this is sin hx this is given by yes this formula and what is here cos of hx we have this one yes so yes we have to note down all these three results here so let's have a look on some examples here yes here we have to solve this differential equation so first we will write down this is in operator form now we have auxiliary equation this is so that we will have yes we have this roots how the roots are here roots are real and distinct yes we got two roots plus one and minus one so cf here we have this is c raise c1 e raised to this is minus x c2 e raised to x yes this is the cf now we want pi so for pi we have this formula so we will put what is f of d here f of d is this d square minus 1 and this is x yes now we can check that here we have three function and we have to operate this f of d separately on this three functions so yes we will operate this is separately so we will write down this is as yes now here we have this is constant and 7 raised to x here yes we can write down all this here in exponential form so yes we will write down this is as a yes and here we will have this is e raised to log of 7 raised to x right and here also cos of hx this is e raised to x plus e raised to minus x by 2 yes now we will simplify this one here so we will have yes now we can check that we have to put d is equals to 0 here so that we will have this one yes again yes we know by log rule we can write this is as this one so this is of e raised to ax form where a is this log 7 and here yes and here we have to operate this 1 upon f of d separately on this one so we will write down this is as so here we have 
e raised to 0 x that is again 1 yes and now this is e raised to a x form so we have to put d is equals to log 7 here yes so by putting d is equals to log 7 we will have this one and this is yes we will write this is as yes now we have to operate 1 upon f of d on this one so yes now we can check that when we put d is equals to 1 here yes this denominator gets 0 and similarly when we put d is equals to minus 1 this denominator gets 0 yes this f of d is get 0 yes we have to remember this is always this f of d get 0 when d is equals to the roots of that equation right so here d is equals to 1 and minus 1 both are the roots of this given f of d so both will get 0 here so what we have to do in that case we have to multiply this is by x and we have to take the derivative of this f of d here so here differentiation of that f of d with respect to d so here we have twice d this is e raised to x as and similarly here we have this is twice d and yes this is we have to multiply it here by x now we have to do the simplification yes what is simplification here yes this is again we can write this is as a 7 raised to x again that is by log rule yes now here we have x by 2 common for both yes and here we have this 1 upon d into e raised to x again 1 upon d e raised to minus x we have to operate this 1 upon d on this one yes now we know that we have d is equals to d by dx this is the operator right d is equals to d by dx so similarly this is 1 upon d this is the integration with respect to x yes d is a derivative and 1 upon d is an integration so we have to apply this integration on this one so here we will have yes e raised to x integration this is e raised to x and here e raised to minus x integration this is e raised to minus x right So yes, on simplification we got this one. If you want, we can write this is again. Yes, here we have e raised to minus x. Yes, this adds again. We can write this is as a sine hx, and that is our required pi. Yes. So in this way, we got pi for given differential equation, and we can write down its solution yes so that we will get the required solution next we have to note down these things when we have x is equals to constant this a raised to ax form and hyperbolic sine and hyperbolic cos we have to write down all this in exponential form so that we can apply the rule of particular integral so yes in this way we have find the particular integral for exponential case so yes, that's it for now. See you in the next video. Thank you. Keep watching.